One of the main research lines in our group are fluorescent proteins, and specifically dynamic fluorescent proteins, which enable a range of different applications, such as the fraction and limited fluorescence microscopy. Now, the observation that led us to start this research is simply the fact that the general uptake of these labels has been limited compared to the applications that they enable. And in some cases, this is simply because these dynamic fluorescent proteins derive from different protein scaffolds compared to the labels that are most often used, which means that in many cases you cannot introduce these straightforwardly into existing constructs without a, a range of control experiments. The second problem is that in many cases it is difficult to optimize or develop multiple parameters of these labels at once, which means that you end up with labels that do well in imaging but may have reduced biological compatibility. So in this research we wanted to answer three different questions. The first question is can we develop a dynamic fluorescent protein that can be used as a drop-in replacement for the many constructs that already exist? The second question was, can we then learn more about the structural mechanism of these probes? And finally, can we come up with a more generic framework that will enable the rapid development of these types of dynamic fluorophores? We decided to base our work on EGFT, which is probably the most widely used fluorescent protein. By mutating reversibly switchable EGFP and screening for fluorescence brightness and photo switching, we were able to develop a series of RS greens that are up to 30 fold more bright. While we could show that this was not due to photophysical parameters, it was hard to pinpoint the exact reasons. We believe it is due to the enhanced expression of the proteins. In terms of photo switching, we could identify different behaviors, including faster and slower switches, providing more insight into the structural aspects of the photochromism. To unravel this mechanism on a molecular level, we crystallized one of the RS greens. Moreover, we irradiated some of these crystals to trap them in a dim, in a dim state. After the X-ray diffraction experiment, we were able to determine its crystal structure in both states. The overall fault of RS green is similar to other fluorescent proteins. It's composed of an 11-stranded beta barrel bearing a chromophore in its center. Uh, when we compare the uh, emissive and the dim state, here in green and gray respectively, it's clear that during photo switching, a cis-trans isomerization of the chromophore happens. Moreover, several structural rearrangements around this chromophore cause a disruption and the formation of several interaction networks. With the characterization done, we set out to use our new probes for super-resolution microscopy. The reversibly switchable nature of our RS greens makes them ideally suited for different nanoscopy techniques the confocal scanning method resolved and the white field method SOFI. Using RS Green F, we were able to do live resolved experiments, improving the resolution to approximately 70 nanometers, revealing several features that were hidden in the diffraction limited image. For the SOFI experiments, we could use the entire range of RS Greens, allowing one to select the best probe for different experimental needs. And once again, we could improve the resolution two to three fold, revealing previously obscured features. Overall, we feel that our study provides clear answers to the questions we posed at the beginning. By using our RS greens, it should be much easier to combine the power of dynamic labels with existing constructs, as we've shown uh, via super-resolution imaging. Secondly, our comprehensive characterization of several RS green variants and our structural investigation provide new fundamental knowledge about mechanism in photoswitchable fluorescent proteins. This knowledge can then be further used in the optimization of these and other fluorescent proteins and can be expanded to the design of proteins in other families. Finally, our work provides a generic framework for the development of new, biologically tolerated and dynamic labels based on existing fluorescent proteins.